Hiker Jay here. This week I'm reviewing the Kelty Red Wing 22 liter backpack, just out brand new. If you're familiar with Kelty backpacks at all, the Red Wing line has been out forever. And a lot of them started as sort of your wilderness backpacker, your 55 liter, 60 liter type of backpacks. But now they've shrunk it down into a nice little day pack that I think would be a great option for an everyday carry or a quick day hike. I'm really excited to share this backpack with you because I saw it the first time a year ago in Colorado, uh, in Denver during the retail show. And if you remember that video, I could go into the booth, but I couldn't film. So I got to see the prototype of this. I came out, I was super excited. I was like, I want to show you this so bad. So I finally got my hands on one and I'm super excited to walk through it with you and share all the features with you and see if it's the right backpack for you. As always, the link to all the products that I'll talk about will be down in the description so you can check them out during the video. Now, if this is the first time to my channel, if you could hit subscribe, that would be awesome. I put out new videos every week on outdoor gear and such. Would love to have you along for the ride. All right, let's start. We're gonna go through kind of like the build, the features, and I'm gonna show you everything that I have in it so you can see the real world practicality of what it will carry and what it will hold. So as I said, they took like from their main line of wilderness backpacking packs and they kind of shrunk it down into something small. So if you're familiar with the Red Wing series, it looks exactly like this, but larger, and it extends down further where maybe your sleeping bag would go, right? And it has those elastic water bottle compartments on the bottom. So they kind of cut all that off and then kept everything above it. So let's talk about the build first. It is a 420D type of a nylon and it's only a pound and three ounces. So it's a light pack. You know, they went with like pull strings for zippers and things and just ways to lighten it, um, which I really like. I think those function great and look really good for that matter too. All right, let's go into the build of this thing. So it has twin zipper pouches on the side and these pouches are big enough to hold a 32 ounce. So this is a Camelback 32 ounce. Um, so a Nalogen, anything like that will fit perfectly in here, which was really smart that they kept that design. I really like this option over having a bungee for a water bottle because you slow take your pack off, you toss it off, the, bungee, the water bottle can fall out or other things that you put in there can fall out. So I really like the idea of having these secured. Um, when I go through my pack, I'll show you the other one. Um, I have quite a bit of stuff in there in, in a stuff sack. Then in the front, they've got this shove it pouch. Um, now this, I put whatever I've got that I'm shoving in there. You can just throw granola bars and things. I've got work gloves in there right now because um, we've been working out on the land. This is a really nice stretch nylon and I love that option because if you have something dirty or something wet, you can just shove it in there and it can air out. Um, and that's a really, really nice feature. Now moving up on the pack, they have this awesome grab handle right here. Of course, they've got the standard one on the back where you can grab it and it's a little bit thinner, but this one is pretty thick. So if you use this as a carry-on on an airport or something, you could grab that and carry it or they can move it around real easy. They do have it stitched off on the sides. So you could put a carabiner through here and have something hanging really easily and it would stay isolated right there. Um, really love this grab handle. I use it all the time to just toss it in the Jeep um, or wherever I'm going. I don't really go for this one. This one's just in such a nice spot. And then continuing to move up, you've got this nice little compartment up top that really won't hold a ton of stuff. Um, like I've got granola bar and hat in there, I'll show you a little later, but it's not lined like a normal glasses. It's like the size of what they call those glasses um, pockets, but it's not lined or anything to like protect your glasses, but it'll certainly hold your snacks and things so that they're not buried in your pack. You can get to them really quickly. Now the main compartment. So it does clamshell open like this, which I really like. Um, let me take a couple things out of this one so I can show you the inside. Um, it is an open compartment, total bucket style, but it does have this, I guess you would say it's almost like that like laptop area, but it's really for a water bladder. So you can put a hydration system in here and you can hang it there, but you could put a small laptop in there if you wanted to use this as a school backpack too. Um, it does have the pass through. Um, right here for your hose um, if you use a hydration system and it'll come over and then I'll show you on the on the shoulder straps too It has the spot to actually clip to clip your hydration hose onto as well. So here's your main compartment I think it's a good size and I'll show you everything I have in it in just a minute You know, I don't really mind having a bucket style of like where you can just you know Compartment in there because this thing has so many other options for pockets on the side and you know Stuff it here and little pockets you can keep certain things like maybe headphones up on top They can get to right away but you can easily throw a sweatshirt and hammock and different things in the bucket area and it works just fine. Now let's move to the back. 
Um, here's where the shoulder straps are. Of course, I talked about this grab handle. It's pretty thin compared to the other one. I have been hanging this on just a branch on a tree back on the property as we've been taking, going out and working out there. Um, and it holds it up no problem. Now the shoulder straps, um, the form of them is excellent. Absolutely comfortable. You will see that they're not super thick, but it's a pretty, pretty um, dense foam that's there. So I find that it's a really comfortable uh, backpack when you put it on by the shape of the actual straps. And of course, here's those loops that I talked about for a hydration um, hose that you can hook into. And then you have your sternum strap. Now this sternum strap is that common where it has that kind of guide spot that it can slide up and down on. It's a bugger to slide, but you don't want it to move anyway once you get it set. I honestly just keep it right at the bottom and it fits across my chest really nicely. It also has a um, waist belt that I haven't used at all, but maybe if you're a runner, um, this will help it from bouncing. I just strap it off up to the side and I don't even feel it. I was worried about the buckle kind of bothering me, but I don't feel it there. So I'm just going to leave it that way. Then the backstay. So this is not like a normal day pack that'll just collapse. It actually has a, um, a formed stay in the back of it, but it also has this mesh here. So what it does is it kind of forms to your back, but it holds it off your back. So if you're sweating, air is actually coming in here and you can see that it's slit and cut. So it's actually letting you cool off. So it's a really nice pack. It doesn't get super hot on your back. It's padded where you need it. Of course, down in that lumbar area and up by your shoulder blades. And then down here, it kind of holds it, holds it kind of away from your your back so it'll let that cool air in and then move through so i do like this i've gone on some long hikes with it so far and um, it's really comfortable and you don't get super soaking wet and sweaty so those are the main features of the pack let's show you everything that you can put in a pack like this so certainly i have my 32 ounce water bottle on that zipper pocket um this zipper pocket i have my emergency uh, kind of waterproof go bag stuff sack. This is a sack that I like to carry around all the time so that if I was in an emergency, I can start a fire, make a shelter, do all those types of things. And it fits in that side pocket. I really like that because it's just, it's just isolated, it's away and it's there. And if I need it, I can grab it, but it's not down buried inside, um, it's right there. So I have that, um, I have a couple pair of work gloves in here, a hero clip, if you've ever checked these things out. They're awesome. I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, but what I like about it is you can clip on and then you can just hang on anything um, real easily. So these hero clips are awesome. Um, some of my favorites and that's kind of how I hang my backpack a lot if I have a, have a big branch or something. Uh, my smaller pocket. Of course I have a granola bar and a winter hat. It was kind of cold out there. Um, flashlight and some trail mix. And then on the main compartment on the inside, I have, well, I had a hammock in there. I took that out, a full sweatshirt and a rain poncho shoved down in the hydration pocket and actually a windbreaker raincoat as well and a knife. So all of that fits in here, no problem. It's kind of everything that I need if I'm out. Right now the weather's kind of hot or cold, so I want a sweatshirt, a hat, windbreaker, plus hammock so I can hang out and, you know, when we get out on the property, if we want to chill and relax. Um, of course, I've got water bottle and that's fine. And then also some survival gear. So I think that the 20 liter, at first I was like 22 liter, man, that's, that can be kind of small. Like I like to have like a 30 liter day pack when I go out, but I find with the shove it and all the different features that it has, it covers it for me it covers all the bases for me i'm i'm pretty happy with it and as you can see when it's down it's pretty thin i mean it's so you can see when it's unpacked it's super tiny and small and super light like i said in the beginning it's a pound and three ounces that's really light for a pack like this that has a stay and it's going to give you comfort for a long walk or hike so my opinion on this pack, it really checks all the right boxes for me when I'm looking for a go bag, an everyday bag, an everyday carry type bag, or just heading out to the wilderness. It has these compartmentalized pockets, which I really wondered if I would not like having my water bottle completely zipped up, if you're wondering that, um, not being able to reach back and grab it. But how often do you really reach back and grab it? You're like, usually like, hey buddy, can you gra grab my water bottle? Or you take your pack off and get it. So not a problem all, hasn't bothered me one bit having it zipped up. I actually like it because I know it's not going anywhere. 
um, shove it pouch. I tend to use this for all kinds of things when we're out. If I eat a granola bar and have garbage, I just shove it in there so that I'm not leaving it out on the trail. Um, it's just working out so nicely that um, this is gonna be probably my mainstay in my Jeep. Um, I do overlanding and such, so you can grab it and go for a quick hike and be ready to go. Right now we're doing workout on our property, so it's going out there a lot with me. Um, but I just really think that Kelty took something that has worked for such a long time in the wilderness and now has brought it to the pavement so that we can use this every day carry or a day hike. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. Take a Kelty Red Wing 22 with you.